today's the day we're finally doing the closet tour um so we're just gonna head right in there i'll quickly show you my outfit because it's really cute and i'm kind of obsessed um and then i will just walk you through every part of the closet um it's off my kia it's a pack system details will be below ask me any questions if i don't answer specifically what you were curious about or wanted to know but i hope this video is helpful um i've had this closet some variation of this closet for like six or seven years i um, had this closet when i worked at target this is not a crazy amount of money like i think this is for the person that wants um to be more efficient when they get dressed um, wants a more functional wardrobe wants to be able to see things so they can get like put outfits together quicker that's why i created this like mine used to be filled with red and khaki when i worked at target but it was still it still made my life easier when i needed to pick up outfits in the morning so okay so here is my look for today um this is a sweater dress cardigan dress <laughs> from the brand hanifa it is a black owned brand i'm obsessed it's super cute it is very long so keep that in mind like you know like it's super long that's how long it is um so if you're tall just keep that in mind um, i'm not leaving the house today um i don't have anything under it it's just kind of like it wraps and then you can tie it as tight as you want i'm wearing a size medium i believe um and then this is like the bottom uh, let me show you from the back that's what it looks like super super cute and again you can do it as tight as you want so all right, so here is a quick overview of the closet. This is um, an, an extra bedroom in our house, but I turned into a closet. I will link my um, previous closet tour in our old apartment below if you're curious how it looked um, before we moved into this house. It was basically the same thing, but smaller, and I had my desk in here, and there was no island, so. But we will just start this way and yeah let's get started so i have two mirrors here i had the previous one already this is from ikea it's called the hovit um i will, will of course link everything below um but i think for va value for money this is like the best mirror you can get it's like 120 bucks it's at least probably six feet tall um it's nice and wide and i just had this wall space that i wanted to do more with so um i just doubled them up here i'm also thinking about putting something decorative around the edge but we'll see um, but yeah love that mirror great price point and then um, this little chair was from the at home stores um, that's local in my area I don't know if they have it online but I'll check and the island is from Amazon and then all of the units are from Ikea they are the pack system and I will pop up um, dimensions for each one as I talk about them and the chandelier is from Wayfair. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, the first unit I have, I'll pop the dimensions up, but I do have the deepest units, which means you can hang things um, like this. If you have them um, in the unit that's not as deep, you can only, you have a pole sticking out and you can only hang things facing forward, if that makes sense. So um, this is the deepest and the tallest units. And I recently added glass shelves because I just wanted a more elegant feel so at the top I have my hats then I have a bar and this is where all of my blazers are and then below that I have another glass shelf and then this really cool little hanger pull out thing now they have recently updated this this is the old version because again I have this closet I've had this for like five or six years um, so now it comes with like a little bar in front like this um, that just makes it look a little more custom but you do get less hang hanging space I think you only have like eight or six like actual little notches um so I have all of my jeans and leather pants there and then at the bottom here I added another glass shelf instead of a regular shelf and then I just have my um skinny denim down here just kind of like folded up and these are kind of like straight leg denim wide leg um, and then just like leather pants so yeah um, as far as blazers let me show you my favorite blazer is probably um, this Balenciaga hourglass blazer. I'll pop a picture up of like what it actually looks like, but I found it at the Balenciaga outlet. I wanted it forever um, and I got it for a reasonably good deal. And probably my other favorite is this vintage Chanel blazer that I found in Paris for also a good deal. And I was just super hyped. <laughs> to get that into my collection so yeah and then my favorite 
Lou's hat is up there. I have a lot of hats, but that one is my favorite. I pop up a picture, <laughs> uh, but I wear it all the time. So yeah, moving on. So this is kind of like the middle width. As you can see, they have one that's smaller, which is 19 inches, I believe. And then this one is 29 inches. And then the next unit over is the widest unit, which is 39 inches. And in here, I have hats again at the top with a glass shelf and then a bar. And then these are all of my tops. Um, I do have majority of my clothes here, but I have two bins that are in storage like in another room um, for summer stuff, like super summery tops, like spaghetti shark tops and stuff like that, crop tops, stuff like that. But this is pretty much all of my shirts. Um, yeah, and I have a lot of actually vintage shirts, like this really cute um, St. John cardigan. This silky top is one of my favorite um, shirts. I also have my shirts from my Amazon collection, High Low Lux and the drop which that vintage top inspired this top and probably my newest top which i'm very excited about i think i'm gonna wear it for like valentine's day <laughs> is this cute super cute sparkly top doesn't look like much but the back is out oh, so cute um i just got that from shop Bop. i'll link it below if they still have it but yeah those are all of my shirts and then I have another glass shelf. And then this is where I used to keep my jewelry before I had um, the island. And now it's just my mask drawer. <laughs> and then where I keep like jewelry boxes and my sunglass cases. So that's pretty much all this drawer is. And then in this first drawer with the glass, I have all of my sweaters. And that's pretty much it. Just like a simple um, basic sweaters I still haven't worn this sweater it's by Isabel Morant and I got it on the real real for like half price and I was so excited but I still haven't worn it yellow's a lot for me but I'm gonna get to it <laughs> and all of these drawers are soft clothes so that's amazing this style is the newest version um, so I did replace my old ones with this which has more of like a customized look like Ikea is doing a really good job of trying to elevate the closet system every year so I did repurchase these shelves um, this first drawer I just keep skirts in and then like any just like random shirts so some of my marine sayer sets um, but mostly just like all skirts and a pair of leather shorts and then in this drawer I have sweatshirts um, I try to get sweatshirts whenever I travel somewhere so that's basically all of those those are just sweatshirts um, and then this random one from H&M the Balenciaga one I'm still trying to wear. We talked about that in my worst purchases. <laughs> and then at the bottom is just more sweaters. So just more sweaters. I think all of these are from H&M actually. That one's from Zara. I love the soft clothes. So yeah. Um, and also you can, um, these come with things to like hold them together. And also you can, I've seen people add trim to the outside. Um, so that they look more customized and like built in. Um, our ceilings are super tall, but I would do that if this was our forever home. But since it's not, this is fine because I can move it easily to the next place. And then the last section, hats again um, with the glass shelf. And then these are all of my dresses and um, jumpsuits and then a few skirts is basically all of this. And I do color code my clothing because I've worked in retail my whole life. <laughs> so the merchandiser in me just can't do anything else. Uh, but yeah, this is um, one of my favorite dresses from also my collection with Amazon. Love, love, love her. Oh, let me show you a new dress I was gonna wear on New Year's, but I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> or obviously COVID, but I was gonna just dress up around the house. It's um, rotate, yeah. <sighs> But I was like, you know what? I love this silhouette. This flatters my figure so I can bring it out, you know, in the future. I was gonna wear it for New Year's and just dress up, but then I just got too lazy and didn't. But yeah, so these are all of my dresses, some jumpsuits, and then I have pants hangers for a few skirts and then just pants I don't wanna get wrinkled that I wanna keep hanging. And then I added a glass shelf below. And then these are just some of my summer sandals. I would typically um, put these in storage, but since I have a little more space now, I can keep them out. So that is that section. All right, so this little nook 
it's kind of where I can film any quick sit down videos if I don't want to do like a whole setup in my studio or if I just want to talk about things that relate to my closet um, I can sit here there is a shade that I can pull down as well um, this picture is from home goods and then this little table is from Pottery Barn and then I believe that's from Ikea and that's from home goods and those are from Ikea and then this chair is from Lulu in Georgia it is a swivel chair and it's in the blue cat boucle fabric and it's super comfy so yeah it's a great little corner spot also um, I did hire an assistant if you guys saw my post about that in the, on my community page so she sits here sometimes too for like doing work up here and I need to like multitask and pick out stuff um, so yeah and then these are pictures from my Amazon collection shoot that was um, we shot that in DC so this is just like a cute little look that I, I really like and then moving on to my favorite part <laughs> is my handbag and shoe wall um, I will leave my bag collection below if you're interested these are also a part of the pack system but they are the shallow version and they're the 29 inch width so I have four of them um, that's good and they're the tallest version as well um, and then I have this color coded as well. I did separate so all bags are at the top and then shoes are at the bottom because that just helps me pick out things quicker. Um, for me, again, this is all about efficiency. I've had this closet or some form of this closet before, I mean, before I started a YouTube channel, before I was a blogger, when I worked at Target. Um, it just helps me get dressed quicker and easier. just makes life a little easier. So this section um, is all of my black and white and brown bags mainly like all of the neutrals and then um, black and brown heels and boots if you can see over here yeah so I have like tall black boots down there a few heels that get nowhere <laughs> right now and then um, boots and then this section is kind of like navies and greens that cute bag up top is from Zara that was such a find um, and then just a few navy and blues and greens, which I've really been getting into lately. Um, and a few kind of like tannish ones. Um, and then my loafers and just a few flat shoes and then tan and gray boots at the bottom. And then the next section is like the colorful section. Um, so these are kind of like golds, reds, and then we get into kind of like bluish pink fuchsia colors and then all of my kind of like bright heels and then more tan boots because I have a lot of tan boots and then lastly it's kind of the neutral section so grays and whites and kind of like creams off whites ivories and my sneakers um, I'm missing um, I have another pair of arch lights with the monogram but they're super dirty so I have them in the bathroom so I can clean them and then my white boots my newest pair of shoes are these um, Prada sneakers and I love them they do need to be broken in though so the first day I wore them I had a blister which really never happens with sneakers but they're actually um, I don't know if you can tell but they're nylon so you hear that so um, I've worn them since and they're fine but they do need to be broken in so I love those really good uh, winter sneaker because they're a little chunkier and kind of wear like a boot and then as far as heels I love Manolo's I got both of these on the real real for at least half off so highly recommend I just I just stock the real real because I always find good deals there I just type it in like every other day <laughs> and these are my newest that I haven't worn anywhere but I knew I wanted them in my collection so when they came up these are Amina Mawadi they are super fun and special and my newest bag, which I don't think I've actually shared in a video, um, is this stunner. This is a Chanel 19 um, that I got last week, two weeks ago. And this is the smallest one. And I love her. This has quickly become my favorite bag style. Um, the classic flap has been my favorite, but once they added the top handle, ugh, sold, sold. And if I had to say my most worn bag, Mmm, I, I don't know if I actually can. Right now my most worn bag is probably that red uh, Bottega Clutch because it's super big and easy and I can just grab the top. 
and go. Lastly, my favorite pair of boots, my Prada Monolith boots. They're just easy to wear. They go with literally everything. I don't wear the pouches as much anymore because I'm lazy, but <laughs> that's, let's a little low down on this section. Be the thing. And then right next to my um, handbag shoe wall is this little closet and this is where I keep all my coats. And they are all in here. I love, love, love coats. Coats and boots in the winter, that's basically the whole outfit. So these are kind of color coordinated. Um, I have a few tan jackets back there, denim jacket, and then all of my black coats, um, a few tan coats. I have a lot of blue coats recently, navy and then light blue, then a few green, um, and then pink, purple, and then a few gray. And those are all my coats, all my coats. My favorite coat currently is my Sax Potts coat. She is pink patent leather <laughs> with uh, fur trim. I mean, she's she's a stunner. Like next to the coat closet, um, this is actually a door to the bathroom on that side. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom, um, but I just put this little rack here because again, I need this room to be functional, and I needed a mini rack to kind of just put things that maybe I wanted to shoot or I even if I'm picking out outfits that I want to wear. If it's not technically for a video and I can just need to put stuff here or if it's something new that I don't want to put in my closet yet. So this is from Amazon. It's really small and compact, so I really like it. And then this little shelf is also from Amazon, which I really like. Let me close this door so we don't get the weird light. Um, but I wanted something again to put in this super narrow space that could give me just room to style and put extra things that I might need and wouldn't like take up too much room or make the room feel um, too cluttered. So I like this, it just like drills into the wall and I have a few uh, fashion and beauty books. This little thing is from Home Goods. Oh no, this thing is from Target. I'll try to link it below. Um, I have my favorite Tom Ford's candle and perfume. This little, um, case that Bobbi Brown sent me with my initials on it. You can put makeup in it. I just keep random things in it. Um, a charger so I can charge my phone, a few magazines, um, a few, I have my laptop case and just like a little travel bag. Lotions because this is like a dressing room. I get these from TJ Maxx and they're super good. And then just a Chanel box. But yeah, love this little rack. And then lastly, over to the island, which really made the room come together and is one of my favorite things. It's a uh, little glass tray, which is from the at-home stores. Um, I have a another photo of me Josh took that I really love. It's a fracture print, same as those uh, prints over there. It's like glass. Candle holders are from an antique store in my area. This little candle was sent to me. I believe it's sold on Farfetch or Bloomingdale's. Um, but it smells really good, and I just put the little candle topper on top. <laughs> I got that from Ikea. And then my favorite um, perfume from Replica. I keep perfume everywhere because I'm forgetful. So when I think about putting it on, I just grab whatever is handy, so. And then the island is again from Amazon. I did switch the hardware. So I ordered these from Amazon and we just put them on instead of the ones that they came with. So uh, let's go through here. Um, the top two shelves on each side have like felt in it for accessories, which is really great. So keep my sunglasses here um, really quickly. These are um, Dior, Fendi, Gucci, Forever 21, a little high-low, <laughs> Loewe, um, Desi, 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 which highly recommend, the quality is amazing. Free People, Celine, um, Desi, Dior, Tom Ford, Porsche, and Forever 21. I love sunglasses. Yeah, love these. And next one is some gloves and a few hair accessories that I don't really wear anymore because I have no hair. <laughs> and then in here I have just like turtlenecks, basically just all like different color turtlenecks and a few pairs of socks. And then in here I have a sweater and a sweatsuit. And the bottom one is just junk. I keep like extra candle holders, candlesticks, just decor stuff. And then in here's all of my jewelry. I should have a jewelry video already out or it'll be coming out soon. Um, but this is basically 
everything. Majority of this is from Masoma. I work with them a lot and I love their jewelry. I've bought from them and worked with them. And then in here, all of my belts. I don't wear belts a ton, but I like to have them. Most of them are from Zara. These are vintage, like from a thrift store. And in this drawer, I have all of my clutches. I don't have many, but when the world opens, I'll be ready. This little Zara bag, a little belt bag that is vintage. And then sweatsuit, the little boob things you take out of stuff. And the bottom is junk as well. This is the other side of the island, which is what I really like about it. It has storage. So I keep a few of my summer shoes that I'm not really reaching for on that side. You can adjust these shelves as well. And then I keep all of my loungewear in here, which I'm actually reaching for a lot. So um, yeah, and I will try to link this if it's still available below. Um, it's super, super heavy. So just FYI, it does have a like actual stone top, like a real stone top. Um, but it was the only island I could find that was didn't have to be custom built um, and looked custom built with like all of the detail of the drawers and everything. So, yep, that is the island. Absolutely in love with it. All right, so that is everything. That's the closet tour. Again, I hope this was helpful. Um, I cannot stress enough how helpful having a closet like this is just to function in your everyday life, no matter what type of job you have, what you do, what type of clothes you wear. Um, this is more about just functionality and um, being able to get dressed and making it an enjoyable experience. It's super easy for me to pick out clothes now because I know where everything is, everything has a place, and I can see everything. I don't overbuy, I don't buy um, multiple things that I already have because I can see exactly what I have, what I'm missing, what I need. So I just want to stress that because people think this is some like... <laughs> $10,000 closet or that like this is super fancy and it's really not you can also do piece by piece just take your time um, So that's what I did when I first got mine. I started with like two units. I think the units are a hundred bucks each So there's 200 bucks buy shelves the next time you get paid then add an add another unit the next month with another hundred dollars Then you know like you can add on over time. You don't have to buy it all in bulk um, this entire closet probably cost like two thousand dollars if you went to the store went to ikea and bought the whole thing but you don't have to do that like just take your time um in stocks at ikea are crazy right now like so you have to kind of stock things like i had to buy a few extra pieces when we moved here because i had more room and I, again i had to buy them piece by piece every time something was in stock i would buy it so that's kind of why the closet tour took a little longer but <laughs> again i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it i think that's everything thanks for stopping by See you.